This LOS is explain how a bond's maturity, coupon, and yield level affect its interest rate risk. Interest rate risk on fixed rate bonds. So now we're going to look at properties of bond duration. Macaulay and modified durations are inversely related to the coupon rate and the yield to maturity. Time to maturity and Macaulay and modified durations are usually positively related. They are always positively related on bonds priced at par or at a premium above par value. They are usually positively related on bonds priced at a discount below par value. The exception, and I put this in bold and red, is on long-term low coupon bonds on which it is possible to have a lower duration than on an otherwise comparable shorter term bond, okay? So CFA uh, questions, you're always looking for exceptions. That's what you can be tested on. Uh, the presence of an embedded call option reduces a bond's effective duration compared with that of an otherwise comparable non-callable bond. The reduction in the effective duration is greater when interest rates are low and the issuer is more likely to exercise the call option. The presence of an embedded put option reduces a bond's effective duration compared with that of an otherwise comparable non-puttable bond. The reduction in the effective duration is greater when interest rates are high and the investor is more likely to exercise the put option. So I'm putting this slide in here again. It's just as meant to be a review slide when we're recalling from the bond prices and the time value money and the relationship between the bond price and bond characteristics. So the price of a fixed rate bond will change whenever the market discount rate changes. There's four relationships about the change in the bond price given the market discount rate. And the first one was the bond price is inversely related to the market discount rate, of course. Uh, interest rates go up, prices go down. When the market uh, discount rate increases, the pr bond price decreases. Uh, number two, for the same coupon rate and time to maturity, the percentage price change is greater in absolute value, meaning without regard to the sign of the change, when market discount rates go down than when it goes up, and that's the convexity effect, okay? For the same time to maturity, a lower coupon bond has the greater percentage change than a higher coupon bond when their market rates, uh, discount rates change by the same amount, which is the coupon effect. And then generally for the same uh, coupon rate, a longer term bond has a greater percentage price change than a shorter term bond when their market discount rates change by the same amount, the maturity effect. So again, we're not going to spend a lot of time to go through this slide. This is a review. We've seen it a couple of times, but you can see this LOS that we're looking at now is explain how a bond's maturity, coupon, and yield level affect its interest rate risk. And we're talking about interest rate risk. We're talking about change in the prices, okay? And so you can see, as I said, as we move through the material and go back and recycle, a lot of this becomes a lot easier. Uh, discount rates uh, go down, prices go up. That's right. Discount rates go up, prices go down. That was the first um, rule. The second one is the percentage change is greater when rates go down than up. That uh, has to do with the convexity. Uh, three, for the same time to maturity, 20 years, lower coupon bond has a greater percentage change. And four, for the same uh, coupon rate, longer term bond uh, has the greater percentage change. Okay? So the lower coupon bond has the greater percentage change and the longer term bond has the greater percentage change. So just two practice questions to finish this LOS, which really review this um, LOS and the previous one to some extent, uh, because we're talking about interest rate risk. And the first one, the interest rate risk of a fixed rate bond with an embedded call option is best measured by A, effective duration, B, modified duration, or C, Macaulay duration. A is correct. The interest rate risk of a fixed rate bond with an embedded call option is best measured by effective duration. Um, a, a, a callable bond's future cash flows are uncertain because they're a contingent on future interest rates. The issuer's decision to call the bond depends on future interest rates. Therefore, a yield to maturity on a callable bond is not well defined. Only effective duration, which takes into consideration the value of the call option, is the appropriate interest rate risk measure. Yield durations like Macaulay and modified durations are not relevant for a callable bond because they assume no change in cash flows when interest rates change. So a nice little review there. 
And one last practice question to finish this LOS. Which of the following is most appropriate for measuring a bond's sensitivity to shaping risk? A, key rate duration, B, effective duration, or C, modified duration? And A is correct. Key rate duration is used to measure a bond sensitivity to a shift at one or more maturity segments of the yield curve, which results in a change to yield curve shape. Modified and effective duration measure bond sensitivity to parallel shifts in the entire curve. Okay, so that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.